Chris the Carpenter here, rocketbrandstudios.com, um, with my uh, new 3D printer update. Hooray! Now, uh, before I go any farther, um, I should mention that uh, just much, much love to the printer bot guys. Uh, my design is based on the printer bot. Uh, it's a copy of the printer bot, basically, with a few changes just uh, to work with the materials I wanted to make it out of. Um, but I tried to improve it. I tried to improve it at every level, and I couldn't. Um, their design is, uh, their design falls into my category of the best designs. It's the least number of parts, uh, least number of moving parts, least number of parts, period. It is simplicity, cleanliness, they, the printer bot guys got it going on, period. They deserved every penny of that 890 large that they just made on Kickstarter. Um, God bless you guys. Keep going. You're, you're uh, an, an American success story, and it's fantastic. So, um, and thanks for the design and open source. God bless open source, Creative Commons. Hooray! Let's look at the printer. Uh, and here it is. Here is my all aluminum printer bot. Now, uh, to kind of give you an idea of how this came to be, I will show you this, which might actually help. This is a one foot by two foot piece of uh, eighth inch aluminum. There are all the parts and pieces milled out. So that's one piece. And then there's this one foot by four inch piece of um, half inch thick bar stock aluminum. And then finally, uh, there's 15 inches worth of this uh, four inch by one inch aluminum box tube. And that's it. That's all the, that's the whole, that's the whole thing's made out of. So, um, basic printer bot setup. Um, got the little rods captured in here, some T nuts uh, or T track holes for the nuts and bolts. Um, these are my Z nuts that was milled and then threaded. Um, I used fancy couplers and I used fancy rod holders just because I didn't feel like milling these. Um, these are 12 mil, uh, 8 millimeter on the X. There is a little piece of angle iron here that I milled all snazzy to hold the extruder. You can see it's all notched for the wires and everything. And I milled these little hold downs, um, I had problems. I kept tightening my extruder. It kept loosening up. I tried Loctite and JB Weld and everything. And, uh, and I kept splitting my extruder because the nut was pulling through. So I made these little hold downs, which work unbelievably well. Uh, here is my heated bed. You can see the little LED. The uh, thermistor is right there in the corner. And uh, I milled it as well on the CNC. It worked out to 10 ohms, which is way, way, way too much. I have, I'm running a 30 amp or 30 uh, volt of power supply to get that warm, but it's it's warm enough for ABS to stick on the first layer, which is all that matters. Uh, fancy little Z clips I milled to hold the glass down. Um, here is some of the half inch material. This rod holder, that's the belt right there. Um, that's the half inch material. I don't know if you can see under there if I sneak in there. There's the there's Y and the two pulleys for Y. You can see the belt back in there if you look just right. Arduino Mega and uh, Arduino Mega knockoff I should say and a Ramps 1.2 board. Um, everything else is stuffed inside. You can see my steppers hanging down and the Z rods. And I've soldered a few extra doodads on here. Like this is serial in and out for the um, Mega. And the reason I've jumped that right there is because I have this snazzy control box. Um, this is my uh, control panel. It's made out of a little aluminum box I found at the Army Navy store. And uh, if I switch hands here. So uh, it's, just, uh, it's just Marlin. And so I've got all of the, you know, controls here, and uh, I can adjust the speed on the fly and all my settings on the fly. 
And then even snazzier is this guy on the side, which is my Bluetooth module. So uh, it is a wireless printer. I can print via Bluetooth, which I actually prefer to an SD card. And, uh, and there you go. All right, let's print something. So this is the printer software here. I'm using uh, Print Run. And uh, we're going to print a little Yoda, but a little bigger. So again, we're all wireless. So all I got to do is hit print, and the machine will home itself and then get going. So uh, finger on the, on, the, on the button, as it were, and here we go. So here is Z coming down. It'll tap, go up, and then zero again. I love that you can see the blue light through the glass. But this lays out a first layer like a dream in heaven. As I say that while it goobers. Obviously, first layer is a lot slower than uh, subsequent layers, but it just the 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 heated bed with the Kapton tape is just <laughs> it works so well. It's the first layer sticks so well and it pops when it's done so easily. It's I don't think I'll print on anything else ever. It's it is worth replacing the tape every tenth print or so when it gets all goobered up. All right, so uh, let's see what we got. Um, here is the Yoda that you have seen being printed throughout this video. The print quality is a little weird, but I think it's supposed to be because he's Yoda and bumpy. Obligatory companion cube. Um, this was the first or second thing I printed. Good layers, good extrusion rate, super happy. Um, I started doing a lot of, oh boy, Mr. Yer Anderson. Um, depending on your native language, his name may appear to you as Gear, but it's G-E-I-R, and you can find him at Thingiverse. He makes great stuff like this. And also, uh, he made this little printable XY table, which I made and I modified to fit these NEMA 23s. So this will be a little fun project uh, as soon as to find a suitable little box to put it in, make it a little bit smaller, and get it off of this chunk of MDF. So, um, so there you go. There is my aluminum uh, uh, printer bot uh, project. Um, I love my new machine. It is awesome. It is great. Uh, it is probably going to Maker Faire with me. So if you want to see it in real life, get to the Maker Faire New York and come find Rocket Brand Studios and Let's Make Robots. Um, and in the meantime, go to uh, rocketbrandstudios.com and the, uh, there's a, a huge epic blog post about this and everything else I'm doing and uh, my cool robots and everything else. So, Chris the Carpenter, rocketbrandstudios.com. Ding!